to my camera collection. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Sony DCR PC100. And at the end of the video, I will show some example footage of what this camera looks like and what it can do. So let's get into this here camera. So this camera is from 1999, and I do believe it is the first model of this funky, weird, square, tall, brick size kind of cameras that Sony made. Um, just because it is the 100 and it does take mini DV tapes and I'll go over some of the specs that it can do and then uh, I'll go around the camera and show you uh, all the functions that it has on it. The specs. Now all this information that I am spewing out to you I found on the internet. There's not a whole lot that I found so um, if there is anything that I missed in you on this camera uh, let me know in the comments. So this thing does have picture stabilization on it. It's pretty decent in my opinion. It does have a 10 times optical zoom with a 120 digital zoom. This camera zooms in and out so fast. Like I've never seen a camera zoom that fast before. And it stays in focus too, so that's really cool. It has a 2.5 inch LCD screen on it and it's pretty decent looking. It also has zero lux night shot on it, so you are capable of filming at night. And this camera actually acts as a picture camera. I think it's called the Sony Memory Stick Duo. Um, it's kind of like an SD card, but they're like a little bit longer. Um, this camera doesn't actually have one in it, so I'm not actually able to show you. Um, any pictures or anything that they can take. But the resolution on them are 1152 by 864. That is the resolution on the pictures that it can take. And like I said, I don't think it can take very many pictures because the memory stick on it is only a four megabyte. It also has manual white balance, manual shutter speed, and it also has a intelligent uh, hot shoe on the top here. So you were able to get these Sony intelligent lights that plugged into the top of it and uh, it would turn on when it was too dark and then it would turn on when you would uh, start recording automatically. So um, it wouldn't just be on, it would uh, turn on when it would notice that it's a little bit too dark for the camera to see. And it actually, um, if you run it with, if you run that light with your infrared uh, night, night shot, um, it actually um, increases the, the range of how far you can see, I think, to like 100 feet. So that is just some of the features that it can do. External features. It has a Carl Zeus lens on it. I thought it was a 42 millimeter, but it's actually a 37. I actually was able to fit my Optica 0.3x fisheye lens on this and uh, filmed a little bit of skateboarding with it. Um, it was oddly not really that wide, I think because the lens sat too far away because I had to run all these adapters for it to work. So it's not as wide as I thought it was going to be, but um, it still kind of makes it a little bit wider. Um, it has a focus ring here on the front. And I got to say that this is the probably one of the weirdest cameras that I have actually reviewed on this channel so far. It's just, it's just so weird looking. Like, it's really uncomfortable to hold. And like like one-handed like you almost have to hold it two-handed and kind of keep your hand out of the strap to be able to use the uh, the zoom on it and it's just trying to be able to hold it and like I don't know maybe my hands too big for it but it, it's hard to, to hold it one-handed and actually shoot stuff it does have your infrared laser link right here you're able to buy this box device uh, secondhand not secondhand but um, aftermarket little thing and you would plug it into power and then plug it into your TV. And then you would turn, there's a little button on here uh, for to turn your laser link on. And it would pretty much send an infrared signal to the little box. And then you were able to watch your clips on your TV. Um, so you didn't actually have to plug your camera into the TV. You could just have the camera pointed at the little infrared box and it would show up on the TV screen. And then on the front you have all of your little plug-ins here. So you have your uh, LANC, so it's your uh, plug-in remote. You have a headphone jack, so you can uh, monitor your audio. And you have your audio video out, which is kind of the uh, the headphone jack style. So you'd have to use like a like a 301 cable. And then you also have your uh, your DV in and out, um, so your, your Firewire plug-in. And all of those are very pristine looking. This camera's in pretty good shape too, I do gotta say. On the side here, you also have your 
S video. And then obviously uh, I have a huge battery that is on this. I have another one sitting over here. Every time I would charge it, it would uh, it would only last about 10-15 minutes on the battery. But right here is where you uh, plug your uh, DC in, so how you would actually charge the battery or turn it on. You also have your 2.5 inch LCD screen that pops open right here. It's pretty small, but it looks uh, fairly good in my opinion. I think it has a really good screen and it flips all the way around. But on the inside here, you got your uh, playback speaker, those little holes right there. You got your, uh, your play index and delete. You got your plus and minus. Your plus and minus is your, how you do your end search. So when you record something, you can push, uh, push that and then you can rewind or fast forward on the tape to watch it back for uh, for like a quick playback to a quick preview to see what you just filmed. Uh, you get your in search, digital effect, and display. Uh, digital effect, there's about seven or eight different ones. I'll show you on the, on the example footage what those look like. They're a little cheesy. You get your menu, title, and your volume up and down, which it goes pretty loud actually. On the back here, you have your, this little kind of bluish purple button right there. And that is your, um, how you, you, you push that in that it ejects your uh, little uh, memory stick um, for, the, for the camera. You also have your battery release switch right here. On the bottom here you got the, uh, it's, it's the tape eject, which it took me forever to find where the heck this was. I could not figure out how you uh, got the tape deck open. So it opens up from the back and then it opens and pops out from the side like that. It blows my mind how much stuff that they actually packed into such a tiny little camcorder. Like there's so many buttons and so many things to, to play with on this. And then if you go to playback, you see that your little playback buttons pop up here on the back. And that took me a while to figure out as well. So that's where those are, is your playback buttons. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, if you watched my video for the, uh, the TRV-65, it kind of lights up like that, but it's not on top, it's on the back. You have a uh, fader button right here, so you can toggle uh, different little fading options between clips. Also with your power switch, you go down and it goes into uh, record mode, um, and then you can go down twice and it goes into picture mode, and there's also a little lock or a little switch um, so that you can't accidentally go into uh, picture mode, so you can lock it so it doesn't go down twice and go into picture mode. Um, and then if you go up, you go into your uh, playback uh, mode. Under the viewfinder, you have your, uh, if you want to take a picture, it's a, uh, a little timer for it to uh, count down and it'll take a picture. I don't have the memory stick in it, or I don't even have a memory stick, so I haven't, able, haven't been able to try out the, uh, the pictures or anything on it, so I don't know how, how many different intervals the, uh, the timer has on it. It has a digital viewfinder on it. Um, it is colored, which is really nice, and you have your uh, focus here on the bottom right there. So you can focus it to your eye. Uh, you also have your uh, exposure. Um, you can turn it on to manual or turn it off and you have a backlight along with when you go into like a, a setting. So let's say you turn exposure on uh, for onto manual, um, you can use this little wheel, or if you go into the menu mode, you can scroll up and down with that and then it pushes in like a button. But this one is a little broken. When you go into it, it you'll scroll down and it'll just kind of like glitch out and like twitch. So you gotta kind of just scroll down until you can like get to the spot that you want and then hurry and click it before it glitches out again. So yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but um, that's really the only thing that's wrong with this thing is the little um, scroll wheel. You also have your reset button. Just a little pin button. You might not be able to see it on here. It's right there. And then it also has anti-ground shooting. So if you are recording and you can turn it on and you accidentally uh, are recording and you're pointing it at the ground, it'll it'll stop recording and not you know use all of your tape. Top side, you have your switch for your night shot on and off, along with a external mic plug-in, which is really, really helpful. 
if you want to get better audio, which I think this thing has decent audio. Your laser link button, um, you have your manual focus, um, you can turn it on and off, and your photo button, along with your slow shutter button and your, uh, I wouldn't even call this a zoom rocker because it doesn't really rock, but your zoom slider, which you got to be real careful with it because like I said before, it zooms in like ridiculously fast. It's insane on how fast it zooms. I've never seen a camera zoom in as fast as this one does. And you got your speaker, or not speaker, sorry, your, uh, your microphone here up on the top, which is stereo. And like I said before, you have your hot shoe up here on top so you can plug your, uh, your smart light into. Uh, but you can also use it as a cold shoe, so um, obviously you can mount a external mic to it, you can mount um, your light to it, you can mount a, uh, a cold shoe handle to it, which is what I do. When I was filming some skateboard clips and just some other stuff, when I was running the fisheye on there, I had the uh, little cold shoe handle on it, so I was holding it like this, and I gotta say that the camera looks so goofy. It's funny as hell. I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. There you go. There's your, uh, <laughs> there's your skateboarding rig. <laughs> or whatever else you want to film with it. But yeah, I don't know. I like these kinds of uh, uh, cold shoe handles a lot better than like the, they, they have ones that screw into the bottom and then it like loops around to the top and you hold it up here. I just feel like, cause those ones are made out of plastic and if you get a camera that's too heavy, um, when you're moving around, they kind of bounce and make sure your footage look really uh, shaky. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the camera. Um, you can actually find these refurbished on Amazon. They're, uh, they're almost like 300 bucks for them. Let me know what cameras you would like me to uh, check out in the near future. Test footage. All right, so this is the first actual test with the Sony DCR PC100. Now, this camera is actually small enough and actually nice enough to hold for vlogging, as you can see. Um, it's a little zoomed in. Um, but it's small enough and wide enough for you to actually be able to hold up and vlog if you wanted to. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? You're crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy, Jack. I'm getting his sneaky. What? You better get it. You better get your snake. Where's your sneaky? Where's your sneaky? You better get it. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you the optical zoom. Okay, so there is the optical zoom. Looks pretty good in my opinion. It's not pixely or anything. All right, now check out how fast this thing zooms. Okay, now here is the digital zoom. And as you can see, it is not focusing on anything. You can tell there's some trees and stuff out there, but maybe the power line? Yeah, it's, it's not great. I'll go ahead and show you some of the picture effects, which we'll start off with negative, and <laughs> I don't know, negative is just dark and evil looking. You also have sepia, which makes it look like a western. I kind of like sepia to be honest. It kind of has a cool look to it. And we got black and white jack. I 
mind black and white either. It don't look too bad. And this one is polarized. Um, doesn't really do too much, it doesn't look like. I guess it kind of makes it look a little bit pastel. And you also have slim, so it squeezes the frame together. Along with stretch, so it stretches the frame, so it makes everything look really wide. Looks kind of weird on here. Look at how long you are, Jack. <laughs> okay, now this one is pastel. And it looks like a like a like a painting or like a cartoon or something. This one's actually kind of cool looking. This one would be cool for like a music video or something. I like it. This one's fun. And of course we have mosaic, which I absolutely hate this one because can you tell what you're even looking at? Because I certainly can't. Like that's a that's a vehicle. I don't know. I this it's just too much. I don't like this one. Okay, so that was some of the picture effects that come on this camera. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the fisheye on now and kind of show you what it would look like if you were to uh, film some skateboarding or scooter riding in my case. Okay, so now I have the fisheye on here. And this thing looks honestly super funny because it's a 58 millimeter on a 37 millimeter and the fisheye is practically as big as the damn camera is. <laughs> so this thing's super heavy on the front of this. Come here. What are you doing? Are you gonna go get rooftop? Go get rooftop. Go get rooftop. <laughs> go get rooftop. You wanna go get rooftop? What's wrong, Jack? What's wrong? What's the matter? Are you gonna go get rooftop? Are you gonna go get rooftop? Are you gonna go get rooftop? I hope you enjoyed these clips. If you enjoy checking out old camcorders like I do, definitely subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, like the video. And we will see you in the next video. Have a good one.